The current 2019 Pan American Cyclocross Champion, Terry Warner's background as a junior and U23 mountain biker has helped him become one of the most technically proficient riders in American cyclocross. A former rider for Raleigh Cycling, Terry has been part of the Kona Maxa Shimano cyclocross team since 2018. Warner, however, sat out the 2020 season. I speak to him about returning back to competition in 2021 and his preparation for the U.S. Cyclocross National Championships in December. Let's talk about cyclocross and the fact that we did not have a season in 2020 because of the pandemic. What have you been up to? Yeah, uh, my wife and I bought a house in Roanoke in July of 2020. And it's kind of nice to not have cross because I was like pretty keen on just being a homeowner and getting to know the area. The Roanoke cycling community is really big and they welcomed us in a big way. And so it was kind of cool just to be grounded for a bit because I mean all the years prior to that has just been like racing 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 so yeah we were like feeling like homeowners and and did that whole thing and really got to know the area and so taking a little bit of a break was really nice and it kind of like was a bit of a recharge coming into this year. Obviously this is the start of the season. Tell me about what you've got leading up to um, nationals, which are coming, of course, in December. Doing all the World Cups and then Cincy after that, so the USCX series, and then uh, that'll be it for me for like three weekends off. I'm gonna throw Iceman in there. I've been really wanting to do that race for a while and there's finally like a gap that allows me to do that. So, uh, Iceman and then Hendersonville, which is like a bit of a home race for me, being from North Carolina. I know the race promoter really well. And yeah, and then a couple more weekends off and then it's Pan Ams and Nats. So that's kind of where the big focus is. Absolutely. Um, and my understanding is that you won Pan Am in 2019, 20 seasons. So I'm sure for you as a defending champion, that's gonna be pretty special and something to look forward to. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I got some new kits this year, like with the Stripes Incorporated, so. I'd like to keep them. Got a cool helmet wrap also, and nice. I'd like to keep all that stuff because just be a pain to, to, to get <laughs> other stuff. <laughs> don't rewrap it if you don't have to, right? Yeah, exactly. So Nationals, December, we're in uh, right outside of um, Chicago, Illinois, a course that we've never raced on before. Um, what do you know about this course and what are your, let's, let's talk about Nationals. What are you thinking? Where's your head at right now? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Chicago in third weekend of December could be snowy. It could be 40, 50 degrees. Like, uh, I don't know what the course looks like. I've heard that it's on a golf course, so I don't know, it seems like it'll be like kind of faster and flowy. I have heard there's a little elevation, so I mean, it could be a good mix of like, uh, it could be like a pretty good, like typical Belgian course, which would be nice. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to see what they have and, and kind of what, what's on the docket. We're definitely, Flo's gonna be there, so we're really excited to kind of follow you through the season, as well as obviously like follow you there at Nationals. It's going to be wonderful. What about your expectations for nationals and what, what are your season goals? What are you looking to be accomplishing this year? Yeah, I mean, I wanted to get through this first six weekends and, and, and have a good go of it. And it's been going pretty well so far. So we've got this and the World Cups and then Cincy, so not much left. And then kind of like nose to the grindstone for another month before Pan Ams and Nats. So big focus and obviously I'm, I'm gonna win. <laughs> All right. I've been telling everybody. Yeah, I was I was waiting to hear that. I gotta, I was like, you know, I gotta throw tell these goals myself, out there. You know? Yeah, absolutely. That's the goal. I mean, after 2019, I was there and I felt good about it and then had like the unfortunate tape gate thing. Yes. And so, you know, me and Gage have no bad blood about it, but. Uh, Made the internet though, so you know, I there, did is, get on there ESPN. is a cross beef there. <laughs> I did get on ESPN, so there, I heard that, there is yeah. a silver lining. Yeah, well I'll get your autograph when we're done here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, yeah, I just feel like I need to get a little bit of redemption. So that's kind of what the last two years, last year and a half has been about, kind of like resetting and refocusing and like what can I do different to make that a reality. Cool, well good luck out there. Um, we'll be cheering for you and uh, we'll definitely be seeing you at Nationals again. Thanks.